1529 forecast. Gray skiing and snowboarding conditions will continue this week. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist and Josh Fitzpatrick. Here's a look outside live on the top of Wintergreen. Yeah, we're seeing the snow cover conditions. You had up to six inches of natural snow on the Sunday morning. And hey, how about more snow is on the way for the middle and end of the week? But there could also be some significant icing on top of that snow. Details on that in just a moment. First things first, your 530 temperatures are in the 30s and low 40s from Charlottesville, Louisa, Orange, Standardsville, Madison, Culpeper to Harrisonburg, Stan and Waynesboro. Now this morning we had lows in the teens and low 20s, not quite as frigid overnight. NBC 29's exclusive dual pole triple off radar is showing us dry conditions. It will stay that way for most of the area, most of the next uh, day or so. Now looking to the northwest, I'm tracking snow across the Midwest into the Great Lakes region, the upper Ohio Valley. Now that storm system will bypass us to the northwest over the next 24 hours, but it will pull up a little bit of moisture pre dawn, especially off to our southeast. Now the jet stream is very active, especially by the middle and end of the week. Northern branch of the jet's going to push some colder air to the southeast. The subtropical southern jet stream is going to get involved, and that's that can mean some trouble for us when it comes to ice and snow by say Wednesday night, Thursday, and Friday. But future cast shows tonight increasing clouds. Those clouds will act as a blanket, keeping the temperature from getting too cold. Five, six, seven a.m. Especially south and east, more towards the Richmond metro. There could be a brief area of rain, sleet, and some freezing rain briefly tomorrow morning, and it could get close enough for, towards uh, areas of Buckingham, Pluvanna, and Louisa counties, but I think it's mostly south and east of Charlottesville. Then a break of sun midday, temperatures get rebounded to the 50s tomorrow afternoon, but it's only for one day. The next big thing I'm watching from the Weather Center is that winter storm risk. That is Wednesday night, Thursday into Thursday night. Stop the clock here. Thursday, 7 p.m., widespread area of snow, sleet, and freezing rain. The snow is in the blue, freezing rain and sleet in the pink area here. Here's Friday morning, and then a break on Saturday before some more wintry weather possible on Saturday overnight. So the bottom line, keep checking back because there's still a significant winter storm risk middle part of the week. All right, your forecast overnight, not as cold. Clouds increase, lows in the low to mid-30s. And for Tuesday, well, look at this, some breaks of sun with high in the low to mid 50s. Only for one day, though. Your Michael and Sun seven day forecast shows us mostly dry weather on Wednesday, upper 30s. And then Wednesday night, Thursday, Friday, I highlight a winter storm risk with a potential for significant ice, sleet, and snow. Something you'll definitely have to watch closely as we fine tune that forecast during the middle part of the week. We are back in just a moment.